Right, here we are again, Justin Ride, editor of Mediterranean Gardening and Outdoor Living magazine, the only magazine available in Spain, Portugal and all of the Mediterranean, written in English every month. Each month we're going to be looking at some interactive sessions for you to understand what we're trying to do and what you should be really doing for Mediterranean plants and the gardens. So many mistakes get made all the time and that's why we're here to explain what mistakes you are doing and how we can remedy them. So if we follow through here, now this particular lady had a problem where there was too much shade, too much garden and you can see what's happened here. We've got some lovely avocado trees, we've got a fig tree over there lemon, oranges, but the problem with all of them, they've all been reaching for the sky. They're all looking for light. They're all actually fighting with each other to try and get the most form of sunshine. And if a plant doesn't get the light, it's not gonna fruit, we're not gonna get petals, we're not gonna get blossom. So what we did, or what we're doing on this particular garden, is we've taken a lot out. I'm gonna talk about this fig tree right now. We haven't pruned it as much as we want to, because the problem with that fig tree, because it's searching for so much light, what happens is the fruit will end up on the top there so the poor people cannot pick the figs on this they climb up. So we're going to pollard that later on and you can see it's the same thing with the fruit trees here, the orange and the lemons, in fact the tangerines over that one over there, they're set the same problem, they're fighting for the light and they've become very leggy, it's a prime example here. So what we've done, we've done some very delicate pruning, cut things back, we'll do a little bit more as you'll see later on, which means now, look at this lovely blue sunshine we've got here Colin. We're in the Mediterranean, it's hot. These are all the sun worshippers. So we're gonna be planting a mixture of different colors in here so the client then can meander through the garden and accept and enjoy what a Mediterranean garden should be.